Hey, superstars. 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 Hey superstars. Hey superstars. Hola superstars. It's Elite Hunters and you're checking out Scott at Reindeer Studios. Hey superstars. Yeah, I can't do it. Hey superstars. Hey superstars. Hey superstars. What's up superstars? Bob Lewis here. Having a bowl of honey bunches of oats. Thinking about baseball cards. Great time here at the National with all my buddies. Stay safe. Hey, superstars! What's up? It's Silver Jacket Vibe. Hey, superstars! <laughs> all I gotta do is say two words, right? That's it. It should not take eight takes. All right, one, two, three. Hey, superstars! Hey, superstars. Wow, what a week. I love that intro. Thanks to all the guys who helped me out with that. Um, this was my fourth national, and it gets better every time. And it's not about the cards anymore. And believe me, I picked up some killer stuff. But it's about the people. And I almost feel guilty because I live in a spot where I can easily drive to any of the current national locations. And the last two shows, I've driven or ridden with other YouTubers. And time just flies when you're doing that. So thanks again, Don, for the ride. I uh, got to share a room with Four Leaf again, and despite his nonstop talking, he is such a big sweetie. Uh, we had some late, late, late nights just chatting away at the house that Don rented, so very little sleep, very little food, but lots and lots and lots of fun. I've heard a couple people say that the National was the best moment of their hobby lives, and I really could not agree more. One of my favorite parts is picking up custom YouTuber cards. Here is Iconic Al, super good dude who I wasn't familiar with before the show, but he's got a pretty cool channel. Awesome card from Lou Rock TV. I made him sign it. I just got to figure out how to get Bob to sign it. Um, also going with the 71 Tops theme is John Wade Boggs fan. Very cool. Jake from Legends Never Die made up some 56 Tops cards sized correctly, of course. I do need to get this one in a slab. Uh, here's Eddie from Eddie's Cardboard Chaos, sporting the Seahawks jersey on a 2022 design. I love that Victor, the rookie card specialist, used 92 Bowman, and he signed it on the back. Victor is a good dude. And here is Blob Lewis eating a hot dog. I do need to send that back to him to get it signed, though. So much generosity. It's kind of overwhelming. I got a couple t-shirts. Uh, Sammy Thunder gifted me this really awesome Pop Lloyd t-shirt. I think he said his dad made them a while back, and that is really neat. Thank you, Sammy. And Big Scott gave me a Big Scott 35 shirt. I told him I might change it to Not So Big Scott because I'm hilarious. Uh, thanks, Scott. The vintage composer thought I might be getting tired of baseball cards as gifts, so he gave me a nice set of acrylic paints. I wasn't tired of baseball cards, but I definitely appreciate some paint. It'll go to good use for sure. So thanks, Mike. Now the cards. Uh, Eddie from Eddie's Cardboard Chaos gave me this Mudcat Grant. He wasn't really sure what it was, and I wasn't sure either, but I was sitting with Rick from Vintage Oddball Cards the next night, and he had a similar card of a different player. And Rick said it was a 64 Wheaties stamp, so that was really neat. Four Leaf gave me a uh, 1950 Bowman Sam Zoldak, but I already have it, so try harder next time, Four Leaf. Totally kidding. Who doesn't love a 50 Bowman card, right? Uh, Bob Lewis gave me this neat optic Shane Bieber shiny shine. Thanks, Bob. Jake from Legends Never Die really helped with some team set needs. Here's a 55 Bowman Mike Garcia, Redback Jim Hegan, and Redback Ray Boone. Now I only need one more Redback to complete that team set, so thanks, Jake. Rick gifted me this 1890 Sweet Cap tobacco card, but instead of a baseball player, it was a tiny calendar. So that's very awesome. And I like that on the back of this tiny little card, they left space so that you can jot down some notes and there's instructions on how to erase said notes. That is really neat. Thanks, Rick. James from Elite Hunters gifted me a 54 Bowman Bob Feller. He apologized for it being a beater, but I needed one for my binders and it is a perfect binder card. So I love it. Thanks, James. I was sitting with Mike O and he thought I needed this Topps 206 Larry Doby and he was right. Sweet, sweet card and very generous, Mike. Thank you. 
And speaking of generous, way too generous if you ask me, but my new BFF, George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards, gave me this absolutely positively awesome satchel page relic. This is a piece of satchel pants. It's awesome. I know I said that already, but that's not all. He also gave me this satchel page relic card numbered to 25, and I was just blown away and speechless, and not just because I don't talk much anyway, but George... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you again and again and again. These are insane. One thing though, don't tell all of my other BFFs that you're my BFF. They might get jealous. This pickup segment is brought to you by Solo Cola Champagne, which was actually kind of awful, but I had to try it. From Bob Lewis, I bought another Aussie Newsome rookie. I know, settle down, big spender. And Bob gave me a good deal on this autographed Bowman Chrome Andre Semenis rookie. And I bought this one from B Roth. It's obviously beat up. I mean, well loved, but it is a high number and stupid expensive in decent condition. And I'm just putting it in a binder. B. Roth gave me a really good price, so I am happy to check that one off the list. Show pickups. I spent most of the time looking at dealer showcases, but it was nice to sit down at the dollar boxes for a little bit with Victor and Four Leaf. I picked up a Dr. Sticks that I might already have. This one is for the Heritage Binder. Uh, Ahmed Rosario. I'm glad he wasn't traded. Uh, Black Chrome James Karinchak rookie. Nolan Jones seems like he's holding down his own so far. We got a neat numbered Tyler Freeman. He's almost ready for the show. And my favorite find was this Andre Semenes short print rookie. Getting back to my wheelhouse, I'd been looking for an early win rookie for a couple of months now. And I don't know if it was because I just couldn't find the right slab one or if it was because I had been hanging out with Jake all morning. But I fell in love with this raw one. And I think it's just a really, really nice looking card. It's got this little mark on the back that doesn't seem to be pen. It might be a print defect, so I don't know how that'll affect the grade if I send it in, but it's the front that's important anyway. I'm super happy about this one. Here was my biggest purchase and my very first purchase of the show. It was one of four bigger cards on my list that I wanted to go after, but I had to get it first to determine how much money I had for the rest of the week. It's a T206 Nap Lajoie portrait. Just really, really nice and clean. It's probably one of my nicest looking T206s, and it makes me really, really happy. When I first looked at it, I walked away, but Nap was in my ear calling me back for the rest of the day. Buy me, buy me. It was really creepy. So it's only a one because it was an album card, but that doesn't bother me one bit. Somebody probably saved me $1,000 by gluing this in a binder 110 years ago. Jake knew I was kind of looking for this next one, and he texted me Sunday morning. Fortunately, I still had some money in my pocket. He helped me work out a pretty nice deal on this Satchel Page autograph, and the fact that Jake found it for me makes it all the more special. Thanks again, buddy. Uh, super excited to own this one, and then I still had some cash left, so I picked up this really cool double-sided porcelain Piedmont sign because I wanted to be just like Nuff said cards. This was another one that kept calling me back. I've kind of been looking at these on and off for a couple of years. I showed it to Rick from Vintage Oddball Cards, and he basically told me if I didn't buy it, he would. So I had to buy it, right? The last thing I wanted to show off was a baseball card exchange deal of the day. I picked up quite a few of the deals of the days just to give them away to whoever might appreciate them. They're crazy deals on autographs, but I like this one enough to keep it myself. So it's a 20 by 16 Negro League print signed by Lester Lockett, Joe Barnes, Double Duty Radcliffe, Hall of Famer Buck O'Neill, Casey Jones, Bobby Robinson, and Josh Johnson. How could I pass this up at 15 bucks? This is just a long line of some of my favorite YouTubers going to get some dinner, and I thought it was neat, so I decided to capture that. These are the customs I made to hand out to friends. We've got Larry Doby, Hank Aaron, Jackie, and Bo. 
if I forgot to give you some, or if you didn't go to the national and would like some, reach out and I'll try to get you some of these as long as I still have them. And that's it, I guess. I am so honored and grateful to everyone who spent time with me. You guys are all so freaking awesome, especially Don and Jake and George and Four Leaf. Extra special hugs go out to you guys for being such amazing people. I've got a monthly recap video to make and a really cool Grail Quest video coming. So I will see you real soon. Hey, you know, I love that Mr. Fisherbike guy so much. I love him too. Oh yeah. Love, love Jason. Jason. Yeah. Dude, he's the best. If there was one person I wish was right here on my lap, it was him. You did just say that, I remember. <laughs>